Okay, so here we are with uh, Naidu Gade, an Indian expert in CPRA security and disaster management. So, good morning, Colonel Gade. Please introduce yourself and your uh, activity. Okay, I'm uh, basically an engineer, a management and a security professional. Uh, roughly 40 years of involvement in the field of combat engineering, CBR and security management, uh, uh, disaster management, and also counter ID operations. I worked for 22 years in the Indian Army. Then I got selected as a chief weapons inspector with the OPCW in the Hague. And I had the privilege of leading roughly about 50 to 60 verification missions to various countries who are members of the OPCW. So it has been a very immense experience. So on my return from OPCW, I did not want what our little experience or knowledge I had acquired during my stay in OPCW to get rusted. So I started a consultancy called CBR and Secure India because it's a very emerging uh, field of threats to India. So I thought it appropriate to open a consultancy and try and proliferate my little experiences and knowledge to as many as per people as possible. Okay. So in, uh, in your lectures you describe the Indian system in case of CBRE events. Why is it important for students to see another type of system and response approach? Yes, uh, it's very important because each country has got a different method of doing anything. That's no. But now as the world is shrinking and it's becoming more of a globalized this thing, the countries are interdependent on each other for various aspects, especially related to intelligence, security. So it is in good things that the students learn how India does its management of CBR and security and disaster management. And it could be for the benefit of me also to learn from how the Italians do. So thereby we try and share knowledge and experiences for the common benefit of the world. Okay. So um, given the global interest in safety and security sector due to the Syrian civil war and other international crises, what do you think about the mission of the courses to prepare specialized professionals like first responders and CDR and e advisors? It's a very noble uh, thing which the University of Rome at Tor Vegeta is doing because uh, the CBR in threat is there. It is gone, bound to be there for many years to come. So thereby preparing the citizens, the people, to face this threat and running such courses will provide people who could be at, as advisors for the decision makers. Because this problem is going to stay and I think it's an, a, a great effort by your university in trying to train as many people as possible on CBR and management. Okay. So, um, the master courses take part in a European founded project, CBR and Integrated Response Italy, in collaboration with the Scuola Superiore Santana di Pisa and the National Fire Corps, which aims at building and testing an integrated CBR and response capability of first responders and law enforcement agencies in Italy with a view to transfer the approach to other member states. So, do you think that these international master courses can contribute to standardize the training curricula of cbr &E experts and indirectly the response to cbr &E events? Yes, certainly, because uh, first, before standardization, uh, it's trying to give the overview of how things are done all over the world and then Probably a thing which, say for example, India does may appeal to the way you do things and you may adopt it. So at some stage, there would be a commonality of approach towards this threat of CBR and security and disaster management. I think it's uh, uh, achievable, the aims of this course, and it will at some stage help in a unified approach by all the countries towards this menace. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.